Hey guys, it's Joe, and in this video I'll be showing you how to use the expander in Logic. The expander is a really nice tool to add some liveliness to your audio and also add some dynamic range to it. So what an expander essentially does is the opposite of a compressor. So where a compressor reduces the dynamic range of audio, the expander, as the name suggests, expands the audio. So like a compressor, the expander works with a threshold and when the audio has reached or passed the threshold, everything past it is increased in volume or the signal is made louder. This is how it adds the dynamic range and can make it sound nice and lively. So we're just going to pull up the expander, so we'll go into our effects, down to dynamics and then expander. And I'll bring up this window here. As you can see, we have all the same parameters that we would have in our compressor. So we have the threshold, the ratio, the gain, the attack release and the knee. And these all work in the same way except for the ratio. Now the scale for this ratio, as it's an upwards expander, ranges from 0.5 to 1. And 1 being a very soft ratio, well, a non-existent ratio, and 0.5 being a very hard ratio. And before we really do anything, I want to turn off the auto gain, as we want to be in complete control of our gain, and this would prevent that. Okay, so on our ratio, as it stands, it's a one-to-one, -one, so nothing's happening. Uh, if I were to hit play, then the audio would sound completely normal, because when the signal hits our threshold here at minus 20, you can see this straight line just carries on, it's unaffected. So to make anything happen, we need to change the ratio. So if we start bringing that down, you can see this is starting to move. And it becomes more apparent when I change the knee. The knee helps to determine how soft or hard the expansion is working. So one is very soft and zero is very hard. And you can see it really clearly here as we've hit our minus 20 threshold. And as soon as it's been hit, it goes off on a tangent. Whereas if we change the knee, it becomes much more gradual and not so sudden. OK, so now I've changed the ratio, something will actually start to happen. It will sound different as long as the audio has passed our threshold here. As I said before, all of these parameters work in the same way as they do on a compressor, except for the ratio. But if you don't know what they do, I'm just going to explain what they do now. So our threshold is what we set for the audio to pass in order for the expander to actually do anything. The attack is how quickly it essentially turns on once we've passed the threshold and the release is how quickly the expander turns off once the audio is dropped back below the threshold. And the gain is simply a gain to make it louder or quieter, depending on what we want. I'm just going to bring it down a little bit just so it doesn't come through too loudly. Okay, so I'm just going to put this in bypass, put a generic setting on it for these drums, show you what the drums sound like without it, and then turn it on and off so you can hear the difference, okay? And then I'll walk you through everything. Okay, so bypass, and here's the drums. The expander on. So the whole thing sounded a bit more lively and the kick sounded really nice and punchy. So we set our threshold here to increase the volume of the signal once we pass a certain point. If anything, I probably want to make that a little bit higher so it's only affecting the loudest parts. And I'd also play around with the ratio a little bit more and the knee just to find something that I really liked. So I'm just going to hit play again and carry on fiddling around with all of these so you can hear the difference it's making. Now in terms of ratio and knee, I don't tend to use anything really below 0.7 and I never use zero on the knee just because I don't like how it sounds. But everything else is subject to change, especially the threshold and the ratio because that will completely depend on what you're working on. So the expander is great for adding some liveliness and a bit of punch to your audio. It can be used really well to add that punch to kicks, it can be used to strengthen vocals and it's great for adding dynamic range to any audio signal. I hope you found this video useful and if you have any questions please leave a comment or contact me via my website. Thanks a lot for watching, cheers.